uh, here now. And at that Waco Wordfest, we did what's called pop-up poetry, which is where you just decide to listen to each other, which I think everyone should do at all times. But in the corner of the room was this uh, purple-haired young person, uh, and he was withdrawn right to the corner. So of course, I immediately went up to him and said, how come you're not sharing your poetry? And, and, and he withdrew even further because people do when they're uh, uh, oppressed by loud extrovert people. <laughs> <laughs> of, course, of course he was a poet. And of course, he's 21, he tried to kill himself three times. And his poetry is about um, trying to deal with a world that doesn't, is not sensitive. And we did what's called a, a sharing poetry, you know, where you give them your books and they give you yours. And he gave me his book. I just want to read one for him because his name is Spencer. And the book is yours if you want, but um, this, one this one really struck me. <clears throat> Every day since that day, I sit here and think, if I wasn't here, how everything would have changed. I'm happy I didn't go through with what I originally planned. I'm sorry you had to find me on my third attempt. I'm here now. I will never leave, at least not by my own hands, because I know you'll always love me. So turn the hourglass upside down so we can live longer. In fact, break the damn thing so we'll drain its sand so we will all live forever. Mm -hmm.